Before we start with anything, let's put some water on the stove and bring it to a boil. Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch me. And if you're new here, I really appreciate you clicking on this video. Today's video is not only mind-blowing, but also very effective. It is very simple and easy to prepare. The ingredients are also very easy to find. If you're experiencing hair loss, hair shedding, hair fall, or any kind of hair damage, make sure you are paying attention to this recipe because it's going to benefit you a lot. One of my ingredients for today's recipe is green tea. Green tea can help fight hair loss due to its antioxidant protection. It promotes healthy scalp environment for hair growth by reducing oxidative stress. It also has anti-inflammatory properties that is going to reduce inflammation to the scalp and give way to new healthy hair growth. My next natural ingredient for today's recipe is cinnamon. Today I'm going to use the cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon is known to prevent hair loss. It contains antimicrobial and antioxidant properties that is going to prevent your scalp from infections. So when you add cinnamon to your hair care routine, it is going to make your scalp really healthy and to give way to new healthy hair growth. So I added two of my cinnamon stick to my green tea bags. And here you all, you know how we do it here. But if you're new here and you do not know how we do it here, we show a lot of love around this channel. So please show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell. So each time I upload DIYs for hair growth like these, you will always be notified. And do not forget to share this video with your friends, your family, as well as on your social media platforms. Thank you for doing all that. Alright, so this is my rosemary herbs. Today, I'm going to use the fresh rosemary herbs, but feel free to use the dried ones. I make sure to wash my rosemary before using it. Then after that, I'm going to pluck all the rosemary herbs and put in a bowl like so. Rosemary is really great when it comes to hair growth. It is going to stimulate blood flow into your scalp, which will in turn help you grow new healthy hair. Rosemary can prevent hair shedding, hair fall, or any kind of hair loss. So as you can see, all the ingredients I'm using today have similar properties. They are all going to help prevent hair loss, hair shedding, or even hair fall. And you all know that in order for you to grow healthy hair, you need to prevent hair loss. Preventing hair loss is the only way that you can return some length and also some thickness to your hair. At this point, I added all the ingredients to my water. I'm making a very big batch of this recipe and I'm going to tell you why. So make sure you're watching every part of this video. I'm also going to show you the best way to use this recipe to benefit your hair growth and also to stop any form of hair loss. And hey you all, if you're still watching me to this point, it means you're really enjoying this video. But if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Share your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell and also share this video. So I allow this recipe to boil for about 15 minutes. Then after that, I allow it to cool down and it is time to strain it. Since this is a big batch, I needed to bring it outside to make straining much easier for me. Straining it is very important because you do not want those little particles or rosemary herbs being stuck in your hair. So after I've strained everything like so, it is time for me to transfer them into my bottles and my containers. So today I'm making a big batch because I have a neighbor who has been watching me without my knowledge. She told me she's been suffering from hair loss and she wanted me to make something for her. So I decided to make this a big batch so I can share with her. I'm going to leave some for myself and I'm also going to give the big bottle to her to use for the rest of the week. 
And if she likes it, I'm going to direct her to this video to watch the recipe so she can make it for herself because I'm not going to be making it for her every time. <laughs> All right, people, this recipe is super powerful. You shouldn't even play with it. When you're experiencing hair loss, there are so many things that causes hair loss. It could be hormonal imbalance. It could be poor diet, poor care routine genetics stress and certain medical condition so in order for you to treat the underlying cause of your hair loss you need to know why you are even suffering from that okay so if it is poor hair care routine you need to up your game on your hair care routine and this recipe right there can help you to do exactly that i'm going to show you the best way to use this recipe in order to stop your hair from shedding and also grow your hair much faster but if your hair loss is due to some medical conditions then i will entreat you to see your doctor if it is poor diet make sure you are eating healthy diet and drinking enough water after you've done all that you can use this recipe to maintain the health of your hair so as you saw i transferred some into a mason jar and some into a spray bottle the spray bottle is going to be my everyday use. So I'm going to add some olive oil to it. Olive oil will help this to stay in my hair much longer and also going to seal in the moisture in my hair. I also added essential oil, which is the lavender essential oil. And this right there is my vitamin E oil. I'm going to put one capsule of the vitamin E oil to my spray bottle, as well as a tablespoon of my olive oil and a few drops of my lavender essential oil. After putting everything in the spray bottle, I'm going to shake it to mix everything together. If you have your recipe like so, you can use this every other day, spray it on your scalp, on your hair strands, and make sure to massage it in. Also, do not forget to go in with a leave-in conditioner or a hair moisturizer to seal in the moisture. The one in the mason jar can be used on your wash days. You can use this as a hair rinse to rinse your hair after washing your hair. Keep this recipe in the refrigerator and warm it up whenever you're ready to use. Discard after five days. Thank you so much for watching this video.